Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, even with the cloud cover taking over this afternoon, temperatures were still pretty mild. Many areas well into the 50s, even topping out in the low 60s. 61 the high today in Taunton, 56 Providence, low 50s along the South Shore. Even with showers and clouds and fog tomorrow, we've got a chance of actually being being milder with temperatures approaching uh, 60 degrees. So very mild and humid, but with some precipitation and some fog. You know, visibility down in Newport is reduced a little bit. You can see some fog in Providence and in Warwick, some of our our, uh, our cameras out of Nantucket, uh, no fog yet, but that will be changing uh, shortly. Take a look at uh, pictures in Providence on the Highway Bridge. You can see a little fog forming right now, uh, some mist and drizzle. So Nantucket visibility out on the island so far is pretty good, but it will go down. Block Island down to a mile and a half, about a mile in a westerly, mile and a half in Providence. And these visibilities will continue to come down during the overnight, early tomorrow morning. So thick that we'll get some mist and some drizzle. So no big storms are on the way, but certainly unsettled now through tomorrow afternoon. Scattered showers, areas of fog continuing into Friday afternoon, but overall east Easter weekend is still looking okay. We'll show you that in the seven day future cast and then chillier temperatures return unfortunately by early next week. You can see the low clouds that have been streaming in this afternoon and evening. The bulk of the real heavy rain, the actual downpours are well to our north and west. I'm not expecting any downpours this evening and overnight other than just some mist and drizzle. This red line is a warm front on the bottom of your TV set. It represents the leading edge of milder and more humid air and as it approaches, it's just going to reinforce the low clouds and drizzle overnight as well as the fog. Meanwhile, the Wet weather extends all the way down through the Gulf Coast. All of this green represents high dew points, in other words, high humidity. And when you take mild and very humid air and pass it over a cold surface like the ocean, of course, our waters are chilly. The net result that that uh, humidity condenses into low clouds and fog. And it's really the perfect recipe, unfortunately, for some dense fog, especially along the coastline. Future cast this evening and overnight showing the low clouds and fog. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. It's already in the low 50s. The gray represents the low clouds and fog a little bit of mist and then keep the umbrella nearby. Notice uh, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, showers coming through. And look at the temperatures, lower 60s by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but still with some scattered showers right through about 5 o'clock in the evening. Once we get towards sunset and early evening, you start to see the clearing from west to east. So once we get beyond 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, things are actually drying out. Your Friday night looks fine, uh, but a better part of Friday itself uh, appears to be very mild and humid with scattered showers. That includes tomorrow morning. Morning, uh, with temperatures already in the 50s and tomorrow afternoon reaching the low 60s with some scattered showers. I think any partial sun that's, that might be a stretch and it would be limited to very late in the day. I would still keep the umbrella nearby even tomorrow afternoon. Seven day future cast weekend looks good. Beautiful on Saturday and even Easter Sunday overall not too bad. Still going with a slight chance of a quick shower early in the morning, but the trend will be for some sunshine, dry, breezy and seasonably cool afternoon temperature coming in at around uh, 50. 53 uh, degrees. So uh, looking pretty good this weekend. Just getting through tomorrow with some scattered showers. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Tony.